Okay, so this next mnemonic is to help you remember the signs and symptoms associated with sepsis. Sepsis is a really essential thing as a nurse for you to understand. Um, and I know some people think this is really something only maybe the emergency department or the ICU nurses need to know, but this is something everybody needs to know because it can start off with these really non-specific symptoms. And if you're not really looking at the whole picture, you might miss it. And when it gets, when it progresses to a point where you're having some um, like hypotensive symptoms show up, it's it can be very, very deadly. And so basically what sepsis is, is this systemic um, inflammatory res response as a result of uncontrolled infection. So basically you have some microbe or something in the body, it's this source of infection. And the body like turns on this inflammatory response. But it's kind of like, it's, when I went to a critical care conference, I had a really good lecture on, on sepsis and the guy explained it Mike Ackerman, wonderful educator um, for nurses, but he explained that it's kind of like, you know, you if you turn on your radio and you rip off, you turn it all the way up and you rip off the handles and it's just blaring and there's no control over the sound. That's kind of what, like what sepsis is. It's like you've turned on this inflammatory response and it's going crazy and it's way too loud. It's way too enhanced and there's no stopping it because we've ripped off the handle. So that's kind of what sepsis is and kind of more of a textbook kind of definition is this release of cytokines occurs which leads to further inflammation and then vascular dilation. Blood is shunted from the essential organs to non-essential organs like the skin leading to increased body temperature um, which goes along with a response to infection. Um, the heart begins to beat faster in response to this, and then decreased cardiac output occurs as a result of this massive vasodilation. So one of the signs and symptoms um, with late sepsis is hypotension. And when we get to that point, we're pretty advanced. So this mnemonic or this uh, memory device is really to help you remember some of the um, signs and symptoms of sepsis and there's different stages of sepsis um, but this is something you want to look at you know this is when the patient is still relatively stable um, and hasn't gotten to the point where they're like needing a breathing tube or anything like that so the six t's of sepsis signs and symptoms tachycardia tachypnea tremors a toxic look tiredness and temperature so, you know, like I said earlier, your heart, the heart begins to beat faster in response to infection, so tachycardia. And something to know with that, too, it's not going to necessarily be this patient's telemetry is alarming at a heart rate of 150. Maybe the patient's baseline is like 60, 70, but they're like sitting at 110. Your, your telemetry is not going to alarm at you necessarily at 110, but you notice that their heart is consistently beating faster than it had been than their baseline. That's definitely something for you to look at. Uh, tachypnea, they're going to be breathing faster. Tremors, toxic look, they're going to just look sick. They're going to be tired, fatigued, and their temperature is going to be elevated. So those are just some signs and symptoms of sepsis. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.